Hi there, I'm Helen Mabel. I'm an artist and it's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been a little while since I have posted or made any videos and sorry about that. Um, I was actually finishing up my final semester of college and I graduated. I just graduated in December, so now I'm done. So I do really want to get back into making videos because I love making videos and I love making content to share with you all and I'm just excited to get back into it. So today, that's what I'm going to do. Um, we are doing another studio vlog. I have been drawing a lot lately and it's been really fun and I want to turn some of those drawings into stickers and prints and art things. Maybe I'll try making some bookmarks. We'll see. So I'm gonna do that today, but first I do want to reorganize my desk a little bit because the current setup just isn't really working for me right now when I go to edit stuff. Like I have an L-shaped desk and I've been putting my computer on the shorter side of the L, but I kind of want to move it to the long side to give myself more space to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I also got this. It's a sound bar, like a mini sound bar that my dad gave to me because he wasn't using it. Um, thanks, dad. So I'm going to try to set this up with my computer as well and my external monitor. I'm going to have quite the fancy setup. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, well, I like this setup so much better already. It just feels like such a better flow. I have so much more space here in front of my computer. My two monitors feel more spread out and it's just nice to have like this little extra space off to the side. So now I can finally get to making some stickers, which I'm excited for because now my computer is a lot closer to my Cricut. So it's gonna be a lot easier to go back and forth like managing my Cricut and everything. Before I get to making the stickers though, I do want to show you which designs and things I am planning on actually turning into stickers. And I'm also going to do some prints as well. So let's take a look here. So first one, I'm definitely going to be turning this one into a sticker. This little friend has been super popular over on my Instagram, so I feel like I have to turn it into a sticker. Okay, next one is going to be this little cat adventurer. It's actually not very popular over on Instagram, um, but I like it. So I want to turn it into a sticker. Maybe I won't make a whole bunch because it's probably not going to sell as well, but I think it's cute. So I'm going to make it into a sticker. This little cabin illustration here, I actually um, made this available as a digital download in my Etsy shop, but I think I will be turning it into a print because I think it's cozy. I don't think I'm going to make very many because it's not super popular, um, but I like it and I would like to have it available as a print as well as this other illustration that I just did last night. Okay, last but not least, this adorable little, it sounds weird to call my own art adorable, but I mean, is it not adorable? <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, it's this little illustration of these two little mice in their cozy little burrow in the winter time. And I just posted this last night on Instagram, but so far people aren't loving it. So I am going to have to make it available as a print. Yeah, but I think that's it. I think I'm just going to do those four different artworks. I'm so excited to be back. I miss you guys. Okay, let's get into it.
Why are they green? Why? Why are they green? Has it been that long since I've made stickers? Why are they green? Huh? I don't know. I have no clue. I guess I'll try changing the ink cartridges. What? Why are they green? I've never had anything like that happen. I'm gonna try printing something else first. Why are they green? This is what I wanted. This is what I got. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> okay, let's try changing the ink cartridges. Maybe the issue was that it was too bright in here because sometimes the Cricut can't align itself properly if there's too much light for it to be able to pick up that black line. But I turned off all the lights and it's still not cutting properly. It's a little bit off. So I guess I'm gonna have to calibrate my Cricut. Let's see how long it actually takes me to get a sticker right. So far, I've run into an issue on every single step. How many more issues can I run into today? Gonna get these stickers made. <sighs> okay, let's calibrate my Cricut. All right, while my Cricut works on that, I need to go clear off my car from the snow so that I can actually go to work tomorrow. So let's go do that. Yeah, super fun. I'm back. So let's see how the calibration went and hopefully I can actually get my stickers cut out correctly this time. Okay, so I actually managed to get everything printed and all my stickers cut out and things worked out okay in the end. It took us a while to get there, but 
I've got stickers and I've got prints. Not a whole lot of them, but enough at least to get a listing up on Etsy. Before I take my product photos, I actually have this um, big vase of dead flowers that I want to kind of pick through and see if I can use anything in my um, product photos. Yeah, uh, my parents gave me this vase of flowers for graduating, which was a little over a month ago. So they're dead and they've just been sitting around, but I didn't want to throw them away because there's some really cool um, things in here. And some of the things that like, as they dried out, they actually look really cool. So I want to hold on to um, a few sticks and flowers and things that are in here and then I'll just get rid of the rest. But yeah. Let's pick through this, uh, this dead vase of flowers. sick I promise Ugh, I just need some water check out this giant water bottle that I got it's 40 ounces and it's like bigger than my head and I love it I drank like three of these yesterday so that's 120 ounces I wasn't even trying to drink a lot of water I was just drinking water I mean I I love water so I love this okay so Today, I want to try to make some bookmarks. I have never made bookmarks before, but I feel like it'd be pretty easy. It's a little mouse pattern. I, I, I'm like obsessed with drawing mice lately. It's just, it's my new obsession. It's my new addiction. I just really like mice. Anyways, I wanna turn this pattern into a bookmark. I'm also going to put it up in my Etsy shop as a digital download so people can use it as a background on their phones or on their iPads, computers, whatever. Um, I actually have it as my phone background right now. Oh, it's my turn with words with friends with my mom. She's really good at it though. It's really frustrating to play with her. She always gets way better words than me. Anyway, let's make some bookmarks.
my dresser, and I don't like it. So, we're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint it today. Woohoo, with, uh, with uh, this chalk paint. This is the Retique It brand, and I got the color French Beige. It's basically just a kind of tannish, brownish color. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna look, but uh, hopefully I'm gonna like it better than its current state. Um, it was actually my brother's dresser originally, and it was a much more orange color. Um, and I actually did try to sand it down and refinish it and restain it, but it was impossible to sand. It refused to change at all. So instead I tried to layer some gel stain over top, um, but I don't like it. I don't like the way it turned out. It's really dark. That's why I wanted to sand it in the first place so I could stain it lighter. You can only use gel stain to make something darker. So we're gonna paint it. That's what we're gonna do today. Yep, we're gonna paint it. Should I put on different clothes that I don't care about to paint in? Yeah, probably. Will I? Unlikely. Did I put Diet Coke in this mug to make it aesthetically pleasing? The world may never know. All right, let's get to painting. Mostly. I still have to add a sealer over top, but this is basically how it's going to look. I just really wanted to put it together so I could actually see it and see if I hated it or not, which I don't. I love it. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, it turned out pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end the studio vlog here. Uh, I hope you liked it. <laughs> um, it's been a chaotic week and I honestly like don't know how much footage I have for this studio vlog, but I hope it's interesting. I don't know. I'm just really excited to be back and get back into making videos. I really missed you guys and I really missed making videos and having conversations with you guys in the comments. So, you know, if you have anything to say to me, let me know because I miss talking to you guys and I want to chat. <sighs> it's been so long since I've done natural. I don't remember what I usually say. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, new videos will be coming. I would like to get back on a regular uploading schedule. So keep an eye out for videos on Thursdays, whether it's every Thursday or every other Thursday. I don't know yet. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give it a like, maybe subscribe. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, you can also follow me over on my social medias at Helen Mabel Makes on Instagram and TikTok if you want to get some little sneak peeks of upcoming content before it comes out here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.